Oh, it's raining. Hey, have you ever wondered where the rain comes from? Or how the clouds are formed? Well, this is what the water cycle is all about. Come, let's explore. Zoom in. When the sun heats up the rivers and oceans, water becomes water vapor and it rises up in the air. This process is called evaporation. It is the first step of the water cycle. You too can see water vapor at home. Just tell your mummy to heat some water. And as the water gets heated, you'll be able to see the water vapor rising up in the air. When the water vapor reaches up in the sky, it turns into tiny droplets of water. These water droplets, along with various gases and dust particles, come together to form clouds. This is known as condensation. Now, hold a cold lid over the vessel in which you heated water. When you open the lid after some time, you'll be able to see water droplets on the lid. That's exactly what condensation is. When the cloud becomes too heavy and it cannot hold any more water inside, it bursts open to give out rain, hail or snow. This is known as precipitation. As it rains, water gets collected in oceans, lakes and rivers. It even seeps through the soil and becomes groundwater. Thus, water cycle is a continuous process of evaporation, condensation and precipitation. Trivia time! Did you know that even plants sweat? That's called transpiration. That's why it rains more in places with more trees like hill stations and forests. Sometimes snow directly turns into water vapor without melting into water. That's called sublimation. This happens a lot in cold countries. Oh, I need to run now. It's raining again. So this is me zooming out. Tune in next time for some more fun facts.